أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي ربنا زدنا علما اللهم فقهنا في الدين اللهم فعنا بما علمتنا وعلمنا ما ينفعنا وزدنا علما آمين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته يا أحل القرآن I hope and pray that you all are in the best state of health and increasing state of iman آمين الحمد لله uh, In previous class we have completed learning about Tashdeed and also we have completed learning Tanween and also we revised each and every uh, rulings which we had learned till now right Alhamdulillah uh, your practice of Makharij al huruf and all those uh, Tajweed rulings has also completed yesterday so Alhamdulillah uh, you all recited the letters the Makharij al huruf everything was just perfect there are few mistakes only make sure you practice them well and send me the recordings of those letters okay Alhamdulillah so inshallah today we'll learn new topic uh, that is about the Mushtarak huruf Okay, Lam and letter Ra which are Mushtarak Huruf. Alif we have already seen in Alif Mad that when it is uh, heavy and when it is light, right? Today inshallah we'll complete learning two remaining Mushtarak Huruf that is letter Ra and letter Lam. Okay, Alhamdulillah. First inshallah let's learn about Lam. In each and every slide which we studied uh, earlier, in each and every rule that is uh, in Harakat, in Sakin, in Tanween, in Tajdeed, everywhere where we learned all the uh, Arabic alphabets in that we never saw that Lam is heavy, right? Everywhere the Lam was light because Lam is light in all the cases except in the name, in the, in the Lam of Al Jalala. Okay, except in the Lam of Al Jalala. What is Lam Al Jalala? The Lam in the word Allah. That is Lam Al Jalala. Okay, the Lam which is in the word Allah. The Lam which is here, you can see it. This Lam which carries Tashdeed, understanding Fatha, but only in the word Allah. You can find this uh, this kind of Lam carrying Tashdeed and standing Fatha or any mud things, but it should it will be in any other words then this lam is not heavy okay only the lam which is in the word of allah will be sometimes heavy and sometimes light even here it is not heavy always it will be read both as tafqim and tarqiq that is it can be read both heavy and light uh, according it depends upon the rulings okay inshallah let's see what is the ruling of this lam al jalala okay Fine. Inshallah, you will understand it from this. You can see here. Okay. This is the word Allah, right? This is the word Allah. The word before this, uh, this the letter before this word Allah, if it carries fatha and dhamma, just like the rules of raw which we are studying in every class, if the letter before the word Allah carries fatha and dhamma, then this lam al jalala will be recited heavily. Okay. And the letter before the word la, uh, Allah, if that carries kasra, then this lam is recited lightly. Only simple two rulings. Alhamdulillah. Okay. And you cannot see any other harakah except fatha, dhamma, and kasra before lam al jalala. Okay, keep that in your mind. Even if you see Tanween, you lad no nekujini there. That is why you just remember that if you see a word Allah and the letter before it carries Fatha and Dhamma, then that is heavy. Lam al Jalala will be heavy. And if it carries Kasra, then Lam al Jalala will be light. Here are a few examples from which you will understand it perfectly, inshallah. Okay, here is the example of Lam al Jalala before which there is Fatha. Okay, see here. Subhana, okay. Subhana, na had noon had fatha. That is why this lam is heavy. Subhana Allah. What do we say? Subhana Allahi, Allahi law. It is law now. How to do this istiala? Just by raising the back part of your tongue. Law sounds this way in English. We say law, right? 
the law and orders for that how we pronounce the letter l heavily in the same way we will have to pronounce it here okay subhanallah yeah uh, just look at this point kaf has fatha on it jazakallah jazakallah la la okay and even here this hamza has kasra this lam has fatha okay after this lam which carries fatha there is an alif there is another hamzatul wasl there is lam there are many letters in between right between this lam ul jalala and the letter carrying fatha there are many letters you just ignore all those letters and focus on the letters which carry something okay because in arabi the nurani qaida which we are learning if there is no sign there is no sound there is letters which are before this lam ul jalala has no sign so there is no sound of those letters okay so what you have to do this lam has fatha and that is why this lam will be pronounced heavily illa allah illa allah okay and here you can see huwa allah huwa allah okay wow had wow has fatha and that is why lam ul jalala is heavy huwa allah let's see the next uh, ruling that is if the word allah has a letter carrying fatha before it sorry dhamma fatha we have already learned now let's see about dhamma nasrullah ra with dhamma that is why lam ul jalala heavy nasrullah rasulullah allah okay lam will be heavy allahu akbar now there is no word before this word allah right so now the hamza which was there hamza tul wasl which was already present in the word allah now carried fatha and that is why we will consider this hamza with fatha allahu akbar this is how we say allahu akbar in salah when we offer namaz the tak- takbir at tahrima Allahu Akbar. Make sure that you don't pronounce it Allahu Akbar. It is not Allah. It is Allahu Akbar. Okay. Alhamdulillah. Now here, Hududu Allahi. Allahi. Did you see how heavy it is? As soon as you see a letter carrying Fatha and Dhamma before Lam Al Jalala, that is uh, before Lafz Al Jalala, that is word of Allah. Make sure to pronounce letter Lam. heavily okay this lam is called as lam al jalala now inshallah let's see when the lam al jalala becomes light okay fine if the word allah has a letter before it carrying kasra then the lam al jalala will be always light okay for example alhamdu li this lam has kasra that is why alhamdulillah now it is not lillah fine alhamdulillah okay same thing here a'udhu billah bismillah bismillah amrillah amrillah rabit kasra that is well amal jalala is light i hope this is clear inshallah it is very easy Alhamdulillah. Now let's see again the introduction. Lam al Jalala is the lam which is present in the word Allah. Okay, the lam which carries tashdeed and the standing fatha. That is the lam al Jalala in the word Allah. Okay, that can be read both heavily and lightly. Okay, when is it recited heavily? When the word Allah, that is the lam al Jalala, has a letter before it carrying fatha and dhamma, then that lam al Jalala is heavy. And if it carries a letter before, uh, if it has a letter before it carrying kasra, then lam al Jalala is light. Okay. Here are few examples where you will tell me which is light and which is heavy, so that it will be easy for you to know that you have understood the topic or not. Insha Allah, I'll ask you. You will tell me only if it is heavy and light. I will recite it. Then, insha Allah, you can recite. Okay, fine. Here, let me know if it is heavy or light. Heavy, Masha Allah, because it has dhamma before it, right? Yuridu Allah. 
Not la law. You read the Mashallah, excellent. Now let me know here. Ba has kasra the lam al jalala. Light. Excellent, mashallah. You mean on a billahi. Gee, this Hamza has sakin on it, so pronounce it with a joke, cut off sound. You mean on a billahi. Mashallah. Okay, here Lam has kasura. Alhamdulillah. Fi sabilillahi. Here Mim has fatha. Heavy. Anamallahu. Okay, here it has Dhamma. MashaAllah. Laanahumullahu. Okay, here Ta has Kasura. Light. Light. Kahoshiatilahi Kahoshiatilahi Yes, your noon has put her. Heavy, in a law. Mashallah, excellent. Barakamullah, Fikum, Alhamdulillah. You have all understood the topic very well. That is, if Lam al Jalala has a letter before it carrying Fatha and Dhamma, then Lam al Jalala is heavy. If it has a letter before it carrying Kasra, then Lam al Jalala is light. Okay, very simple. Inshallah, today you can open Quran and search the word of Allah, and then you can practice yourself seeing which is heavy and which is light. That will be a revision for you. Try to do that, Inshallah. So, if you have any kind of doubts in Lam al Jalala, ask me. First, I'll clear that. Inshallah, after that, let's move to rules of Ra. Alhamdulillah, Barakamallah Fikum Nam, inshallah. Let's see uh, the ruling of Ra, which we have already learned, but there are a few exceptions, so we'll add it and learn it again, inshallah. Okay, fine. What are the rules of Ra? Letter Ra is also a mushtarak letter out of three Arabic letters, that is, of uh, three mushtarak letters letter Ra, Lam, and Alif. Lam and Alif we have completed. Ra is also mushtarak, and we have learned about this in every ruling. Uh, which we studied earlier, right? In harakas, in sakin, in tanween, in tajdeed. But now, inshallah, let's uh, look uh, at all those things again. And there are a few exceptions of rules of raw, inshallah. We'll learn that also. Okay, letter raw is a mushtarak letter, which means it is both heavy and it is light. To make it heavy, you have to do only one thing, that is doing isti'ala, rising the back portion of your tongue when you want to make it heavy. And uh, then you should not raise your tongue when you have to recite it lightly. Okay, just like how you recite Huruf al Musta'aliya. Okay, heavy letters are also called as Huruf al Musta'aliya because we do Isti'ala there. But this is a Mushtarak letter. We will uh, recite it with heaviness and lightness too. But when you want to make it heavy, then you'll have to do Isti'ala, that is, rising the back portion of your tongue, inshallah. Okay, now let's see the rules of Ra, which we have already learnt. I have included it here, inshallah, just for a revision. Okay. What is the rules of raw and when the, does the letter raw become light? First thing is when raw has kasra, then the raw is light. Just like here, al qari atu, al qari atu. Okay, if raw is sakin, then we'll see a letter before it. If the letter before it has kasra, then that raw sakin is also light. Just like fir'aun. Okay, Fir'aun. If Ra has Kasratan, then this Ra is light. Bi'rin, Bi'rin. If Ra Sakin, this is something new to you. If Ra, sak, if ra is in Sakin state and the letter before it also carries Sakin, this happens sometimes that the letter before Ra will also be in a Sakin state, then you will have to see a letter before that Sakin letter. Okay, that will be obviously in a Mutaharrik state. Or uh, that letter, if it carries kasra, then this raw sakin is light. Okay, from this example, just see raw 
is carrying kasra and the letter before it also has sorry ra has sakin and the letter before it also has sakin so we'll have to consider the letter before it that that is having kasra and that is why this ra sakin is light now hijr 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 okay that ra sakin is very light alhamdulillah this is the ruling of ra and even here you can see the ra with standing kasra is also light which i have not included because that goes into mad category but it is understood that ra with the standing kasra is also light alhamdulillah all these things we had already learnt and this is bit new to you that sometimes ra sakin will all can also have a letter before it carrying sakin then we'll have to see a letter before that if it has kasra then ra sakin is light fine Alhamdulillah. Now let's see when is raw heavy. Okay, this has few exceptional rulings also. The first thing is raw with fatha and dhamma is always heavy. We have already learned this in haraka. Wa raaita, wa raaita nasa. Here the raw is heavy. Rusulu raw is heavy. If rock has sakin, then we'll have to see a letter before it. If it has fatha and dhamma, then raw sakin is also la heavy. Like maruyama, maru, maruyama. Okay. Now this raw sakin has dhamma before it. Al Quranu, al Quranu. Raw sakin is heavy. Okay. Now same thing. If raw has sakin on it and the letter before it has sakin too, then we'll have to see the letter before that sakin letter. If it has fatha and dhamma, then fatha or dhamma, then this raw sakin is heavy. Here there is a raw sakin. The letter before it is dal, which also has sakin. Then we'll have to see a letter before that letter dal. Then the letter qaf here it carries fatha. That is why this raw sakin will be heavy now. Al Qadru, Qadru, Qadru. Okay, Ru Ru. This kind of sound because it is heavy now. Same thing here. Ra has sakin. Sin has also sakin. Then we'll see the letter before it. It is carrying dhamma, and that is why this Ra is Khusru, Khusru, Khusru. Okay, Ru Ru. It should be heavy, inshallah. Now let's see this. Ra with fathatan is heavy. Toi Ran. We have already learned this. Rabid Dhammatan is heavy. Ghafurun. Okay, same thing applies to Rabid standing fatha and in water Dhamma. Fine. Now here you can see there is an uh, another extra ruling. When can Ra become heavy? If Ra Sakin has Hamzatul Vasl before it, then the Ra Sakin is heavy. But you will just write it now in your book inshallah. After completion, after the completion of Mim Sakin and Noon Sakin ruling, we we'll learn the ruling of Hamzatul Wasl. There you will, inshallah, understand about this. Okay, there I'll explain the ruling of Ra Sakin also while learning Hamzatul Wasl. For now, you just write if Ra Sakin has Hamzatul Wasl before it, that doesn't matter if this Hamzatul Wasl carries Fatha Dhamma or Kasra. This Ra Sakin will be heavy. Lima Nirutaba. See. This is Ra Sakin, this is Hamzatul Wasl, and this is Noon, which had, which is carrying Kasra, but still this Ra Sakin is heavy. Lima Niru Tada. Okay, even here, this Hamzatul Wasl will be, uh, we will add Kasra to this Hamzatul Wasl. Why we will add Kasra? You will understand that well. We'll learn Hamzatul Wasl. In Surah Al Fajr, if you see this, this word comes in this beginning of the ayah and it will not have any sign on it but we will add kasra and we recite it like irji'i irji'i ila rabbiki radiyatan mardiya there you can see this ayah where this word is in the beginning of the ayah and this there is no sign on the hamza there okay but still we will add kasra to it you will understand why we are adding kasra when we learn about hamzatul wasl okay for now just remember if Ra Sakin has Hamzatul Wasl before it, then that Ra Sakin will always be heavy. Here, see, we are adding actually Kasra, E, E, but still Ra Sakin will be heavy. E, Roji, E, E, Roji, E. Fine, inshallah. So, this is all about when the Ra is heavy, and this was about when the Ra will become light. But there are a few exceptions which we learn in this slide, inshallah. Okay, in previous slide, we learned that if raw sakin has kasra before it, then it is light, right? Here we have learned. 
if rosa kin has kasra before it this one just look at this if rosa kin has kasra before it then letter ra will be light but there is one exception what is that exception if rosa kin has kasra before it but the letter after the rosa kin is a heavy letter one among that seven huruf al mustaliha if that comes after the ra sakin then we will pronounce ra sakin also heavily that is the exception okay i'll repeat it again we have already learned that the letter if the letter before ra sakin carries kasra then ra sakin is light right but there is an exception if the letter before ra sakin has kasra but the letter after it has the letter huruf al mustaliha for example if we take sad then this letter ra sakin should be pronounced heavily just to make it easy to pronounce the letter sad because to pronounce the next letter which is heavy we'll have to do istiala right we'll have to raise the back portion of our tongue but if the letter ra sakin if you are reciting it lightly by not elevating our back portion of the tongue and then we'll start to recite huruf al mustaliha it will be a bit heavier to make it uh, it will be a bit uh, harder to make it heavy okay for example if you recite a letter ir okay then there is sa ir sa ir sa just to make letter sa heavy after reciting ra it will be a bit harder that is why this is an exceptional ruling that if there is heavy letters coming after ra sakin then recite that ra sakin heavily pronounce it heavily that doesn't matter if the letter before it carries fatha do ma kasra or anything if letter after ra sakin is heavy then recite that ra sakin heavy okay it is so simple here there is a a uh, example even this is from surah al fajr mir sadan it is mir ra sakin the before the letter before it is carrying kasra but still letter sad is a heavy letter and that is why this ra sakin will be heavy now mir sadan mir sadan okay alhamdulillah another exception is from this slide here what we had seen is if there is ra sakin and the letter before it is also having a, a, is carrying sakin then we'll see a letter before that right and if it has fatha and dhamma then this ra sakin is heavy okay see this slide again the letter has sakin the letter ra has sakin the letter before it also has sakin and the letter before it if that carries fatha or dhamma then this ra sakin is light but there is one exception sorry this ra sakin is heavy but there is one exception if you see ra sakin okay and the letter before it also has sakin but if that letter is ya and the letter before it has fatha then this ra sakin is light because what did we learn about lean ya lean is very soft right there are two lean letters one is wow and another a uh, lean letter is ya but ya lean is so soft that it is a very soft letter also we have learned while reciting the makhraj of it and also when it comes to lean it is more softer that is why when you see huruf al lean that is ya lean and the letter before it always has fatha right but according to the ruling if there is sakin and before it if there is fatha then ra sakin should be heavier but here we'll make it light just because ya lean is a very soft and very light letter okay here there is an example same thing with huruf al mad also ya sakin can be huruf al mad but that is understood because it has kasra before it and it will be uh, lighter only al khabir but here you see khair 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 but according to the ruling of previous slide what was the ruling if ra has sakin and the letter before it also has sakin and the letter before it has fatha then the ra sakin is heavy but that doesn't apply to ya lean only ya lean okay that doesn't apply to ya lean if there is ya lean you will have to make it light for example if you want to say jazakumullah khair the ra sakin will be light khair okay it should not be khair ra sakin should not sound heavy fine alhamdulillah we have learnt about the raw the ruling of raw also i'll repeat everything again inshallah raw is a mushtarak letter it can be both heavy and light 
uh, to make it heavy we have we'll just have to do istiala that is raising the back portion of our tongue okay what is the rules of raw when does letter raw become light if the letter raw is in state of kasra then that is light okay if it carries kasra then it is light and when it is in sakin state then we'll have to see a letter before it if that carries kasra even then the raw sakin will be light if it has kasratan it is light if it has standing kasra it is light if raw has sakin and letter before it is also sakin then we'll see a letter before that sakin letter if that is carrying kasra then this ra sakin is also light in this slide we have only one exception that is ra with sakin and the letter before it carrying kasra was light but if letter after that is a heavy letter then this will become heavy okay this is the exception from this slide which is called as rules of ra which is light Inshallah, now let's see the heavy one. Okay. Raw carrying Fatha Dhamma is heavy. Raw Sakin, which has a letter before it carrying Fatha Dhamma, is also heavy. Raw Sakin, before which is also a letter carrying Sakin, then we'll have to see a letter before it. If it has Fatha and Dhamma, then this Raw Sakin is heavy. Or raw Sakin is heavy when it has Hamzatul before Hamzatul Wasl before it. Always, if Raw Sakin has Hamzatul Wasl before it, then Raw Sakin is heavy. Raw with Fathatan and Raw with Dhammatan is heavy. Same thing Raw with standing Fatha and inverted Dhamma is also heavy. This is all about the heaviness of letter Raw. The exception in this slide is this one. Here or Raw has Sakin. Before that the letter is also is carrying Sakin. But the letter before if it has Fatha. Okay. The ruling is it should be heavy. But if this Sakin letter is ya sakin that is ya lean then ra sakin will be light it will not be heavy fine alhamdulillah that's it here there is a slide in which there are words where you will tell me which letter which is heavy and which is light okay inshallah one second fine just look at the letter if there is a ra then just you'll have to see fatha dhamma kasra or then we whatever it carries if there is a raw sakin then remember to see a letter before it inshallah okay here raw is, is carrying fatha it is heavy, heavy, heavy. inshallah okay here raw has fatha it is heavy right ya raw ya raw okay raw is carrying dhammatan <laughs> heavy sihrun sihrun ra is carrying kasratan light light nukurin 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 okay here ra is carrying dhamma heavy heavy okay absaruhum absaruhum okay ra is carrying sakin but before it the letter is having fatha Heavy. Heavy. heavy, very heavy. good. Fajarna. Raw sakin, but the letter before it is Fatha. Heavy. Heavy. Arba. Arba. MashaAllah. Raw sakin, the letter before it is also sakin, but the letter before it has Fatha. Heavy. Heavy, heavy. very heavy. good. Amr. 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 Okay. Raw is carrying kasra. Light. Tajri. Same thing here. Raw is carrying kasra. It is light. Rihan. Rihan. Okay. Here, raw is carrying sakin before it is fatha. And also, you can see the letter after raw sakin is also a heavy letter due to two reasons this raw is heavy now okay so soran okay here raw is, raw is uh, carrying sakin the letter before it is also sakin but the letter before it is kasra light mashallah excellent lizikr very good okay this is raw sakin the letter before it can Dear sisters, please make it mute your mics. Okay. 
here the roy is carrying sakin but this letter you can you see this hamza this is actually hamzatul wasl okay you'll understand about this later inshallah what is hamzatul wasl and that is why this roy sakin will be heavy okay fartaqibuhum <laughs> there is another slide inshallah you will tell me here the roy sakin is the roy is in sakin state the letter before it is kasra but the letter after it is a heavy letter <laughs> So this rasakin will be heavy, mashallah. Qirtasin, qirtasin, mashallah. Here, see the rasakin, the rasin sakin state. The letter before it is yalin. It is yalin, dear. Yalin. So we'll not consider this. We'll not consider this now because it is yalin, right? It will be light. Be khair, be khair. Mashallah. Here the ra is carrying fatha, so it will be heavy. Maal abrari. Yeah, this is heavy and this is light. Maal abrari. Okay, here ra is in sakin state. The letter before it is also sakin. The letter before it is kasra, light. Adir. Adir. Okay, here the letter is carrying dhamma. Heavy. Al-Ghafur. Al-Ghafur. Okay, Ra is carrying Fatha. That is why it is heavy. Khalqir Rahmani. Okay, Ra is carrying standing Fatha. That is why it is heavy. Ma Tara. Okay, there is Yalin. There is Yalin before Rasakin. That is why it is very good. Ghair, Ghair. Mashallah. Here, Rok with Kasra is light. Ghair al Maghubi. Mashallah, excellent. Barakamullah, Fikam, Alhamdulillah. This was all about rulings of Ra, which is very easy. There are only two exceptions that is in Yalin, and another is if letter after Rasakin is a heavy letter, then you'll have to make that Rasakin heavy. Only two exceptions. Then all the rulings we have already learnt in the previous classes. Another special rulings which we learnt is about Hamzatul Wasl that you'll understand, inshallah, while learning Hamzatul Wasl class. Okay, that is something different. Different, uh, it will be new for a few sisters, it will be uh, easy also, inshallah. Fine, actually, the time of the meeting has ended, it is just 10 seconds remaining. That is why, if you have any questions regarding this lesson, you can ask me privately, inshallah, okay, or you can ask me tomorrow in the class. So, now, inshallah, let's end the meeting. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifun, wa salamun ala mursaleen, walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته جزاكم الله خيرا